Hi, I wanted to talk to you a little bit about what's going on in the economy and the plan that we're working towards. But before then, I wanted to take you back to the context that we found ourselves in. We all remember COVID and the enormous impact it had on all of us. And because of that, we did a lot of things to get the country through COVID, like supporting the NHS, vaccine program, furlough. Those things cost around 400 billion pounds with all the other support we provided. And just as we were recovering from COVID, we saw a war when Russia invaded Ukraine. That meant that everyone's energy bills went up. Ofgem estimated that they would go up from around £1,300 to £4,500 unless the government did something about it, which it did. It provided about £100 billion of support to everyone with their energy bills. But all of these things meant that we saw high inflation, and that's what caused all the pressures with the cost of living. At the beginning of last year, I set out five priorities. The first of those priorities was to halve inflation. What's happened to inflation over the past year? Well, according to the Office of National Statistics, inflation was around 11% when I became Prime Minister. Now, inflation has more than halved to around 4%. That's good progress, but we've got to keep going. because Inflation belongs back down at 2%. What does that mean for you and your family? Well, first and foremost, because inflation is coming down, that eases burdens with the cost of living. Secondly, we're starting to see mortgage rates come down now too. And thirdly, because economic conditions have improved and the plan is starting to work, we're able to start cutting people's taxes. 27 million people in January, in their pay packets, will start to see the benefit of that tax cut, which is worth around £450 to someone earning an average salary of £35,000. So that plan is starting to work and we're showing progress. But what's the alternative? Well, we know the Labour Party wants to go on a £28 billion green spending spree. They can't tell you how they're going to pay for that because they don't have a plan. But we all know there's only two ways governments can pay for things. Either they borrow, or they tax. Both of those things are going to cost you and your family. That's the choice. Stick with our plan that's delivering lower taxes and a brighter future for you and your family, or go back to square one with Labour.